Hello everyone and welcome to this Blender tutorial. Today we'll see how to make this 3D animation with geometry nodes. Let's start by switching the timeline to the geometry nodes tab and by adding a new node tree. I recommend you to pin it so you won't lose track of it in case you accidentally select another object. What we want to do basically is to distribute some points on our mesh and use an object as an instance. So. Now that we added the distribute points on faces node, we need to add some actual instances and to do that we will use the instance on points. So add the node and after that you can just drag the object that you want to use as an instance into the geometry nodes tab. As you might have noticed, the rotation of our instances isn't correct and we need to fix this. So in order to do that we will use the Align Euler node and by the way I'm trying to keep uh, the node tree as clean as possible to make it easier for you to follow through. Ok so let's fix the rotation by adding a Align Euler node and by plugging the rotation of our points into the Align Euler and then the output into the rotation of our instances. Now we can use as a vector the normal, so you just need to add the normal node into the node tree. Okay, so now we have our instances, but we can't see the mesh and we need to fix this. So in order to do that, we will use the join geometry node. So let's add the join geometry node and then plug the group input into it. Now it's time to make the actual animation, but first off you need to add an empty to your scene and then you need to drag it into the geometry node tab. Remember to set it to relative because this is fundamental to make the animation work correctly. And now we are going to use a vector math node set to distance because basically this node will set the distance between our input and our object. So basically between our watch, in my case, and the empty. So add a position and this is the position of your input. Now we are going to use a map range to create a sort of threshold for our instances and so we will use the distance as a value and then we will also use the scale of our empty.
Okay, so now we can plug the map range into the instances scale. And what you need to do now is just play with the values. So as you can see, the location of our empty affects the scale of our instances, but also the scale of our empty works on the scale of the instances. If you want, you can also add a color ramp to have more control on your animation, but um, it's not necessary to use it. Just let me show you though. Now, if you notice, our instances appear in a sort of a boring way and we want to make it more interesting. So we are going to use a noise texture and then we will use a mix color set to linear light and once again the position. So set the color mix to linear light plug the factor of our noise texture into the second socket and plug the position into the noise texture and into the mix color. And then finally the mix color into the vector of our distance node. Now as you can see you can play with all the noise texture values so you can try to figure out what's the best setting for you.
we are almost done with the animation, we just need to actually animate the empty. So let's go back to the timeline and scale the empty a little bit until you can't see the instances anymore. Okay, press I and then a keyframe on the scale. Skip a few frames. Then scale the empty. Okay, press I and add another keyframe on the scale. Okay, it seems great. Let's add a little detail by adding a scale instances node and then a random value. So basically we are going to randomize the scale of our instances just to make the animation even more interesting. Let's quickly set up the scene and finally don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. 
and I'll see you into the next video.